All right, so today what I was going to do, I was going to do the brand new Makita hammer drill, XPF, sorry, XPH14 against the older model, which is the XPH07, but I put a battery in this one and the motor doesn't sound good and it smells like it's about to burn. So I want to see if just by having it run for a little bit, see if it'll start burning. Yeah, it smells like it's burning big time. See, this is how the, the XPH smell, uh, sounds. This doesn't sound good at all. And this is how the, the 12 sounds. So yeah, this doesn't sound good. I don't see any smoke yet. All right, but let's continue what I was gonna do. Let's do a little versus video between these two. I was gonna do these three, but we'll do that in the future. I wanna see what these two against each other because this one is like six years old. This one's brand new. And so let's uh let's see what this, this can do. Like I said, this is model number XPH14. This is model number XPH07. Alrighty, so we both they both have five amp hour batteries. All right, so for the first test, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive in two, four, one four inch lag each, and then one six inch lag each, and see what they can do. Now, Makita has a brand new handle, so I will be using the brand new handle for both of them, because the older one is way too long, and so the new handle is perfect. This is my favorite handle now that any company makes. It is extremely, uh, extremely robust, and it's the perfect size, the perfect length. Does it fit on the older model? It should. Oh, it would suck if it doesn't. Ooh, it doesn't, it doesn't fit on the older model? Are you serious? It does not. It does not. All right, so that sucks. That's uh, news. Yeah, because the, the teeth are different. The teeth are completely different on the two uh, models, which I do not know why. They should have it backwards compatible. This is, that's, that's ridiculous. Yeah, that goes on just like so. Look how long that is. Look how long that is. That is way too long. Let's put the other one on. Yeah, this one is way better. So they are not backwards compatible. That is so much better. They are not backwards compatible, which that is a shame. Let's actually do the, uh, I think this is the seven, the zero seven first. We'll do it right here. Speed one, it is on drill. I'm expecting a smoke show. All right, so ready, go. Time. That is that. All right, so let's do the, the new 14 model. It's on speed one, it's on drill. Ready, go. Time. There we go. All right, let's take it out. This handle sucks. All right, ready? Go. All right, that's actually sounding better. That's a, the motor sounding better than when we first started the video. Maybe just needed to work on something to straighten something out. Yeah, but. Yeah, it sounds a lot better now. It was probably just stuck. It, it was probably just stuck in a gear, or something like that. All right, let's take out the fourteens. Ready, go. Time. I love this fourteen. How compact it is. It feels really good in the hand. All right, so we have a six-inch lag. All right, so ready, go.
time. That came out, which that's okay. Pre these are, you got to admit, doing these are pretty powerful for uh, a six inch lag for a drill. Very powerful. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Time. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. All right, let's take out. I do not know what the times are. I find that out during the editing of the video. But let's take out the the 14. Oh, no, sorry, the, the 7. All right, ready? Go. Time. All right, it's time for the 14s. Ready? Go. Pretty darn powerful. I stopped the timer at the correct time because I spin it just, uh, I keep spinning it just so I know it's out. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Now, I, on this log, uh, I have another log that can do it, but I want to use up all the space on this log. I, uh, this log isn't deep enough for 10 inch lags. Uh, it'll just go through the bottom so that it wouldn't be a legit test. So I'm only doing fours and six on this log. This log could do eight inch lags, but I broke both of my eight inch lags. So, uh, so yeah, so it's still a good legit test. All right. So each drill is going to have one shot to do three holes on speed two in a row. If it stops by any means for each hole for any hole, it's going to fail that test. All right, we're going to start off right here. All right, so a little bit more in. All right, ready? Go. You can do it. There you go. All right, th this is not a time test. This is just to see if the holes fail to do it. This is a nice little drill. I love this thing. All right, now it drill speed two, uh, same thing. If it stops for any hole, it failed this test. Ready? Go. All right, they both did that test, so they both are good with that. All right, so next we are gonna do a one and a quarter inch speed bore. We're going to do one hole on speed two. We're going to do one hole on speed two. Right here is good. If it stops, it fails the test. All right, ready? We'll do it right here. Ready? Go. Time. It did it. It did it. All right, so let's do the 14. Right here is good. All right, speed two, it's on drill. Ready, go. All time. I think, uh, the other, I think the seven got that one. I think the seven got that one. I do the... The max that you would do with these drills, uh, if I do like three inch screws, it would be a dumb test because I have 12 volt screwdrivers that can do three inch screws. So these are bad, these are big bad mamma jamma, so these need hardcore tests. Especially if they, if they can do it on speed two, then you're good. And this is a big bit. That's a big bit. Right, right here is good. Speed two, it's on drill. Ready? Go. Up, oh, it failed on speed two. This is a big one. All right, it barely got anything, so let's give it one more uh, pull of the trigger. Yep, it requires speed one. All right, ready? Go. Uh, 
Time. Time. And it loosened a bit. All right, so I was surprised that that failed on speed too. Yeah, th this this bit is this bit's hardcore. Speed one is required. All right, let's speed two. It's on drill. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Oh, it got a little bit further, but it still failed. Let's pull the trigger one more time. Nope. Speed one is required. All right, let's continue. I'm not applying any pressure. I'm just holding my position. Time. Yeah, when I do these tests, I don't apply any pressure. I just hold, I just lock my arms into place so I don't lose control of the tool. There's no point in adding pressure, especially for self-feeding uh, bits. Not too shabby though. This is a bad man pajama. I am very sorry if you cannot get this yet, but I'm glad I got it. This, I love this little guy. I seriously love this thing. Motor smells good. Alrighty, so when it comes to the test results, I do not know until I edit the video, but just from what I feel, they actually both feel like they're the same performance. Uh, two speed settings on both of them. Both of them have a 21 point clutch, so it does have a separate uh, transmission for hammer, drill, and screw. All right, so the maximum RPM is 2100. Beats per minute for the hammer feature is 31,500 at speed two. And for this one, it is 31,500 beats per minute for the hammer feature and 2100 RPM. So it has the same specs. It has the same specs. As you can see, there is a significant difference in size. If that's actually true, that's actually extremely good because of the size difference between these two. Now, in the beginning, I did, th I did think something was wrong with this, but <coughs> turns out there's not. <coughs> Does smell like it's burning though, but that might be the old motor Makita smell. This one, uh, the new motors don't smell like they're burning anymore. <coughs> that doesn't smell like it's, it just smells like it's a working motor, but the older ones do smell like they are burning motors, which is weird, but I guess they're not burning. So, but it is a huge disappointment that you cannot use the short handle on the older model because the, the actual clamp design is different from when it comes to the keys. It is a major, major difference of the, of the keys insert in there to where it actually goes onto the body. So that's a huge disappointment because this is way too long. Look at that, way too long. This is perfect. And make sure you subscribe to the channel because we are going to do the 14 versus the 12. This is the, the mid-range hammer drill, so we are going to do a versus video between these two because these two are about the same size. This one's a tad bit thicker, but a versus video is coming up, so please subscribe to the channel for that. But yeah, but this thing is awesome. You can get this right now. It, uh, you could get it tool only for $150, but you can't buy it just yet. But if these kits are available around you, which luckily they are around me. So yeah, so I picked this up and this is a, I love this, this hammer drill. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.